visceral, emotional, non-attachment. And what I mean by that is I'm not shooting for exactness. I'm not shooting for even resemblance a lot of times. What I'm shooting for is emotion. And if there's any form of attachment, it would be emotional. How can I attach to you, the viewer? How can I attach to people in decades and centuries to come? Is it even possible? Of course it is. I answer that quickly because we've seen it. We've seen it done before many a times. And we've seen it done mainly and remembered mainly with artists that could come off the cuff. Artists that could, yes, make something look realistic, resemble, but oftentimes the, con the concept or the imagery that they showed us, created for us, were so otherworldly that it left us in awe. Luckily, I found that spot, that something with my own work to step outside of wanting to make it look just like the magazine, like the photograph, not knocking those that, that do. That's a big accomplishment. But I had a teacher in art school say, that's something craftsmen do. You're here to be an artist. Whether he's right or wrong, that's, not, that's beside the point. The real point is, it stuck with me. It moved me. And it also inspired me to paint outside the lines. There were some other talks that went along with it. Actually, there were two professors that changed my whole scheme, flipped my whole game. And I realized I didn't want to render anymore. I wanted to express. And going through expressionism on into impressionism, I was able to come up with my own style. And I was able to create empathicism. Being an empath, being able to touch someone emotionally is the biggest, just the biggest, whatever that word may be, it's the biggest thing for me. And I hope to be able to continue to create works that move people in a emotional way, move people in a passionate way, move people by color, by texture, by subject matter, and by an overall mood. That's what I want to do. Yeah, that's what I want to do with my work. I want to continue to paint outside the lines. There's a whole world there, a whole world to be discovered, painting outside the lines.